Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we're gonna learn about particles, like how to make these cool effects. So uh, we're also gonna learn how to use them. So let's first start off with a part. So um yeah. So one thing you should all should know about uh, particles is if you have like a big part like this in a box. Let's make this a little bit transparent. So uh, most particles actually are uh, if I get this particle right here, like most particles will actually spawn within this box. So yeah, if you want it to spawn at one point, one there's one way you can do it. You can uh, add an attachment, add an attachment to a part. And then drag the particle emitter inside the uh, attachment, and then it will emit at that only at that one point. Or the other way is to make this part really, really small. So I think the smallest is like zero point zero zero one. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a lightsaber now. Okay, so yeah. Now let's actually learn about parts. So to start off with, uh, if we go to part, the first property is color. P pretty self-explanatory. You can change the color. You can change the color. It's yellow. Uh, it looks like P. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. And next is light emission. Well, you can basically edit how much you want the light to emit from this part. So use the scroll wheel change it and look oh look it's glowing next is the light influence how like how much will the light influence this particle but let me just change this to zero so you can see okay say so look at this now if the light emission is zero you get this cool new property that i never knew existed so you can change its brightness Oh yeah, I just recently discovered this like a few hours ago while I was recording, so yeah. In this orientation, Nexus orientation, you can change the orientation of the part. So, uh, what do I mean by that? Well, let's, uh, in let's increase the area of this so it's more obvious that I'm actually changing it. So, um, if we go to camera facing world up it's this is only going to be what well, the camera is like a it's only going to be the world up like there won't be any uh rotation that's going to make it the particle look at you like if you have the facing camera the particle will face the camera in the facing world up it won't in the y-axis it won't rotate in the y-axis i think uh, and the next is, uh, there's also another property, velocity parallel. So you can make it parallel to the uh, velocity uh, to make that more obvious. I'm just going to do this. Uh oh, get on to what that is. So see? So yeah, it will basically point to the, it will change its rotation depending on the, uh, where it's being, where the velocity is heading. And velocity perpendicular. It will it will be um, the orientation will be close will be perpendicular to the velocity so yeah yeah this looks kind of cool so let's do it um, like this so um in the this one you can change the size so like let's say five oh that's pretty big okay uh, next to squash, you can also click on this cool th button, and then you can uh, edit your uh, this. Click on this button, and you can edit how much the uh, part will be squashed over time. Uh, same for size. So uh, squash is like this. Yeah, like that. Uh, next is uh, textures. Well, you can change the image of the uh, part. Let me show. Get it random image. I'll, I'll just steal this image. 
So make sure it's an image texture so that, yeah, you can do this. Yo, know, this looks like Fahad. Whoops. Anyway, uh, ignoring that, it looks like uh, something impolite. Uh, next is transparency. You can also click on this button and make it change over time. So, uh, like you can change the transparency of this part, like to completely invisible to just visible. It's up to you anyway. I should probably go change this. But yeah. So, and the next is Z offset, like you can just change the offset of the part. Let's say, let's set it to 50. So where is it now? Oops, that's way too far. Oh yeah, it like changes uh, how far can you see this? Like how close you can be to this uh, particles. Uh, the next one is the name. Yes, pretty. Oh, and this is data, the archivable. You can make it arch archivable if you like. And next is the name. Change it to whatever you want. Uh, Yeah, yeah, you can change it to whatever you want. Next is uh, the parent. You can change the parent to the pod, but I already it's already parented. So the next is the emission direction. So change it to bottom. It will emit from the bottom. It will like emit from the bottom, and then change it to left, right, whatever you want. Next is uh, enable. So you can just like not enable it and enable it. Next is the lifetime, like how long will the parts last? Like you can make it last really short, like to like one, it will only last that long. Or 10, which will last really long. You can also change uh, how much it will last. The next is the rate. It's pretty fun to use, so increase the, uh, you can increase the amount of particles there is. That's cool. Uh, the next is the rotation, so you can choose the, uh, like, when the particle emits, what will it be the image rotation? So let's say it's 20 degrees. Uh, how do I make it more noticeable? 90. So uh, it rotated 90 degrees, I'm not sure if you saw that, so. I'm just going to uh, grab this part, because it makes it more obvious that it has been rotated. So, um, so here, now uh, let me show you again. So, if I change it back to zero, see the uh, rotation changed. The rot speed is also the rotation speed. So you can change it how much um, it rotates, or how fast it rotates during time. The ro like, ba basically, for example, uh, 180, it will rotate that fast. Oh yeah, and also, there's also a cool thing you can do with rotation and um, rot speed and lifetime. You can actually change the uh, randomness, like, so like the randomness of the initial rotate, the initial uh, rotation. So, so rotation 360, so it's more random. Uh, for rot speed, you can have 360 or 360. So it ha it's more random and it's more cool. Yeah, that's what you can do. This probably doesn't look comfortable comfortable for the eye, so I'm just going to change it to a uh, smoke. Okay, so uh Uh oh, whoops, what happened? Okay. Um wait, let me put that back whoopsies. Why is it not working? Oh, whoops, I'm so dumb, whoopsies. Uh, let's just grab a random part. Uh, sigh, sigh for this. Okay, um. So yeah, yeah. Like I said. Uh, sorry for that. And the next is the speed. You can change how much, well, like increase the speed or what will be the speed of this. So you can change it to 
pretty much really fast, like, or god speed if you like, like, one minute. Oh wow, that's so fast. Or you can change it to extremely, really slow. The next thing you can also do, which is pretty fun to use, is three, the spread angle. So there's two ways you can use it. So 360, like the max angle is 360. So if you do uh, 45, it will, it will spray like this in a 45 degree angle. Wait, let me just show you what I mean. Increase it. I mean, yeah. So yeah, you can see it's 45 degrees here. And uh, you can also change it on the y-axis. 45, so it's like a cone shape now. It's like spreads in a cone, see? You can also make it spread, like, literally around the pot, like, by setting it to 360. Yeah, you can do that. The next is the shape of the emitter, so the emitter shape, it can be a cylinder, disc, sphere, this is where it will emit. And the shape in out, just where you want it to be emitted. The shape style surface. I just, I recommend you uh choose like play around with these to see what's good for you. So in the surface, it will just emit basically from the surface of the emission direction. Next is uh, acceleration. Well, you can change how much it accelerates. Like if you can have nine point, uh, what's the? I think it's nine point eight one. This is Earth's. Uh, acceleration due to gravity, so negative 9.81. So yeah, it will fall basically like that. That's the acceleration. You can also change it to accelerate to literally at god speed levels. Yeah, like that. Pretty cool, right? Next is the drag, basically the drag of the part. So, like, it's like air resistance. Yeah. So it slows down over time. Uh, next is lock to pod. What does that do? Well, if you move, ever move the pod, like all the particles will be locked to that pod. Uh, next is the time scale. Well, if you like watching flash movies or quicksilver scenes, well, you can just literally slow down time, like really, really slow, like this. It only changed the time scale of this particle, not the actual world. But yeah. And velocity inheritance, like how much it inherits velocity. Don't know what this do, but I recommend you uh, play around with all these so you can understand what all these do. Oh yeah, uh, if you, I also said earlier, uh, like if, how you want to make this thing. So uh, first I'll copy this thing. I'll also send a model link to this all. So let me uh, fix this all all up um facing camera up so look at this so this is what it initially looks like um wait just let me uh let me uh, do it again so uh let me add this so yeah it's basically a really really small cube and it's also a particle so this is what it should look like Texture. We changed the texture to this uh, cool image. We also can change the emission, which is emission one. I that's what I did. You can also change its color. Um, let's change it to yellow for a change. And the next thing we can do is maybe change the light influence and the brightness to uh, extremely bright. That's probably gonna hurt everybody's eyes, but yeah. We can, and most importantly, change the orientation and change it to either parallel or perpendicular. I like perpendicular a lot. So then, right after that, change the spread angle to 360. Change the speed to really, really slow, 0. Uh, 0 0.01 is fine, or 0 0.05 is fine. 
now then now it looks like a mess which yeah it is but the next thing you want to do is go to the transparency click on this part at the very end of it you want to change it change it to put this up the value up and then this like linear so it slowly will disappear over time so um also you can change the squash size i also recommend you change the size to make it increase gradually over time also change the lifetime to something pretty low like one something like one yeah oh now it's starting to look like this also what else you want to do is um you want to change the rot speed to like some pretty decent numbers like 30 no 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 negative 30 is the minimum yeah that's what you want to do and yeah that's what that's how you create this simple part the simple uh, cool effect yeah and you can also make this or oh, how i made this is basically uh with a with this cool image with this cool image and then i uh added it on here yeah, it looks really cool. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna put the model link. I'm gonna put all this in the description. Like I will add this on a model, and I'll put in the description of the video and in the comments section in case you don't like looking at the description. But yeah, you can make pretty much very cool things in here with this new uh particle update. Well, it's been updated like a pretty long time ago, but yeah. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. So thank you and share this video.